my good, good um, Wednesday mornings with, you're starting to feel like maybe these are both my dogs permanently. They're not. Um, hi, Edie. I'm being overtaken by animals. It's Wednesday, I think, yes. Yeah. It's Wednesday. Dumbbells today. Edie, I taught at that place where I know you from yesterday. Woo! Not sure how, how long before we have to close down again. I would go. Um, so it's Wednesday, so we're doing barefoot, uh, barefoot cardio, what am I calling it? Barefoot cardio conditioning. Um, yeah, it was sketchy, sketchy. A lot of protocols being dropped. Um, all right, so what are we gonna say? Barefoot cardio conditioning sculpt. You're gonna have dumbbells. I'm using five pounders. If anyone's doing this class after the fact and not live, which I think is the case for many of you, hi Michelle. It's Wednesday, dumbbells. So for people that are new to this class, who might be doing this later, since I see that my class schedule was picked up by a couple of um, places that is um, that, are, that are highlighting fitness classes. So what you'll need to know is for today, we're going to use um, just the space, you see the space to move around your arms and legs, move around, move your arms and legs around, high chest. If you have a mat, that's an added bonus because it sort of keeps you centered, it keeps you from slipping on anything. If you don't, don't worry about it, but seeing as how the uptick in the virus stuff is not going down, going up, and things are closing, I, if I were you, if you don't have a mat, I would order a mat, you know. If you need map suggestions, let me know. I have a couple of favorites. So having said that, um, today we are also going to use the towel for the ab work. So in the after party will be, the after party will be not upper body, but it'll be more core and some deep stretch. So um, having said that, know that I teach everything in levels. Hi, guy. Teach everything in levels. So um, there's always a level that everybody can do, and then... You can increase that or not. If you have an injury that you're taking care of or have seen a doctor for, then um, you know what? I'm gonna start my timer now that I'm saying all this because I realize it's not going. Ah, there we go. Because I don't want to get cut off. Um, so if you have an injury that you've seen a doctor for or should see a doctor for, make sure that you're cleared to do all of this so that you don't hurt yourself. So today the format will be we'll do our warm up with a lot of upper body stabilization, our dumbbell section, and then all of our cardio drills and intervals, and we'll finish with some more. So um, there we go. I think that's everything. So we have mat, maybe not, dumbbells, maybe not. And, um, and the other thing I did bring to the party today was my water, suspiciously in a wine glass. <laughs> it's just water, I promise. All right, so having said all of that, thank you so much to, for everybody. For, all the generous donations, I really appreciate it. We're getting our gear in order. I have a new mat on its way. I have fancy lighting. All right, stand at the front edge of whatever, whatever, hi Lori, of whatever space you're using, shoulders down and back. Bring your arms up to a V. You can wiggle your toes. Then find your squat with your fingertips reaching to where the wall meets the floor behind you. Stay where you are, fixing my music. Gotta get some better producers, what? From here, your toes can wiggle, come back up to a V, and then come right back down to a squat. That's your pattern, single counts here. So up and sink, and up and sink again. Up, one more, then both arms come up together, forward fold, either grab your elbows or let your hands fall to the floor. Either way, try to straighten your left leg and bend your right knee, sitting into your left hip. Then change sides, straighten your right leg, bend your left knee, sitting into your right hip. Then bend both knees, tailbone lifts up, unroll, in four, three, at the top, shoulders down and back, both arms come up, forward fold, unroll, in four, three, palms together at the top. Find your squat, right arm reaches down, left arm reaches up. The temptation is going to be to do that. So try to keep your knees 
bent the same amount. Toes are able to wiggle. Come back up. Let's try it on the other side. Find your squat. Left arm reaches down, right arm up. How are your knees doing? Did you do the shift? Try not to come up. Two counts to get there. One. Find your squat rotation up. Same thing. One. Two. Now single count here. Two squat as you reach and rotate again. One more. Both arms come up. Forward fold. This time bend your knees far enough to get your hands to the floor. Step back to a downward facing dog. That's heels on the floor. Tailbone lifting up to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you. Palms pressing into the floor. From here, lower your hips to plank. Hands underneath your shoulders. Maybe you lower your knees. Maybe you stay here. Either way, come back up to a down dog. And lower to plank and up to down dog. And lower two more times. So we'll lift for two and lower. This time, you'll hold your down dog. Both heels lift up together. So lift and lower. Two more. Then hold your down dog here and walk your feet up towards your hands. Unroll in four, three, two. Take your right arm, reach up and over. Bend both knees, fold. Left arm over to the right and up. Let's go the other way. Over to your right, fold. Then right arm to the left. And up, both arms together, reach up. Forward fold, bend your knees so your hands can get to the floor. Step back to a downward facing dog. Shift your weight to your right hand and foot. And take your left leg up until you feel the stretch behind your right leg. You can stay right here, or maybe you bend your left knee and open your left hip. Either way, you'll come back to the center, down dog split. You can stay right here, or lower your hips. Come with me. If you brought your knee to your chest, you can give it a little pulse here. Just pulse, pulse, or you can stay up there in that down dog split for four, three, two. If you are here, go back up to your down dog split. Then both feet to the floor, down dog in the middle, and shift over to your left hand and foot. Take your right leg up until you feel the stretch behind your left leg. You can stay right here or bend your right knee and open your right hip. If you took the bend and rotation, you'll straighten back out. You can stay right here or lower your hips to plank, bringing your right knee to your chest. You can hold it here or pulse into your chest, pushing the floor away from you for four, Three, two, and sit your legs straight back up to your down dog. Split both feet to the floor. Hold here for just a moment. And then lower your hips to the plank. You can stay here or work with your knees on the floor. Either way, shoulders out of your ears. You do that by pushing the floor away from you. Right leg comes up next to your right hand. These toes can wiggle. Maybe your back knee finds the floor. Maybe you touch your knee. Maybe you reach up to the ceiling. Both hands back to the floor. Engage your core. Find your plank. Try it on your left. Step forward. Maybe your knee is down. Maybe it's up. Maybe you touch your knee. Maybe you reach up to the ceiling. Either way, check your left toes. Can they wiggle? Both hands to the floor. Step to plank up tempo here. So step, reach or touch your knee, and plank. Step. Reach or touch your knee. Again, step. Reach or touch your knee. We're going to go one more time each direction. Right side, step forward. Reach, last one. And then hold any plank. Hands underneath your shoulders. If your knees are still up, put them down. Release your feet, hips to your heels. Child pose. Pressing your chest through your shoulders. We'll round up to find your modified plank. So hands underneath your shoulders. If you're here, push down to get that up. So your elbows, as they bend, they touch your rib cage. You don't have to go very far, but maybe you want to go further. Either way, straighten your elbows. 
hips to your heels. We're gonna make that all flow together. Round up and either hold here or bend and child's pose. Round up, hold or bend. So you can see that the bend can be tiny or it can be big or somewhere in between or not at all. Right here, you can just hold back. Again, round up, press. We'll go twice more, round up. Last time. Now go round up to modify plank and hold it here. Tuck your toes, push down, find your down dog again. Then lower your knees, release your feet, hips to the heels. That's our pattern. Make it flow, round up in one, two, push down for two, and lower, child's pose. Same thing again, modified plank, down dog, and lower your knees, child's pose, one more time. Round up, for two, push down, for two, and next time, modified plank, and hold it here. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, right hand to the middle, just a little trip over the side plank, Maybe your right knee binds the floor. Hold here, right hand underneath your right shoulder. Goes right through your chest, up to your fingertips. Just hold. Come back to the center. Find any plank. Left hand to the middle and rotate to your other side plank. Left knee can find the floor. Make sure your left hand is under your left shoulder. You're breathing in and out. Both hands to the center, find any plank. From here, lower your knees, bring your forearms down to the floor. You can stay right here or lift your knees up. Then you can hold here or you can dip your left hip and center, right hip, center, left. So any of those levels will work. You can hold with your knees on the floor. You can hold with them up or you can take these hip dips. One more each side, then hold any plank. If your knees are still up, put them down. Release your feet, come back to your hands, modify the plank. Tuck your toes, push down to find your down dog. Then walk your feet up towards your hands. Forward fold, tailbone lift up, unroll. Three, two, all right. Grab some water if you need it out of whatever beverage holder that you brought. It's so fun, it's a plastic wine glass. It's meant for outside. Just using it inside for water. All right, grab your dumbbells. Shoulders down and back. Feet parallel, 10 toes to the front towards me. Shoulders down and back. Bicep curls together, both arms. I know you usually start one arm, going two arms out of the gate. So you can keep your curl here or step your left leg back right here and together, right leg. So it's a little lunge, your hips drop, your knee bends, your back heel stays up, press. <laughs> yes, cheers, Michelle. I like to do it that way that I feel like it's more of a little fitness party we're having. Again, we have four more to go after this one. So four, Three, two, hold your feet, just your curl, comes up. Two more, then we're gonna go halfway from the top, halfway, so half, extend, half, extend. One more, now all the way up, halfway down, halfway, lift, halfway. One more, full range, single count up and down. Up, two more. We're gonna slow it down. Three counts to get there in three, two, one on the way down. In three, two, one, again. In three, two, one more time like that. In three, two, you're gonna reverse. One down, one up, three down. Two, three, so take your time on the way down. Two, three, twice more. Bring it up, and two. Three last time. One up, three down, single counts here. Bring them up, 
and down, feet wide, toes to the corners, and sink your hips four times. So four, press down, three, two, one more. We're gonna go halfway and hold, pulse right here. So hips underneath your shoulders, shoulders down and back. Dumbbells towards me, rotate to the sides. Try to keep your elbows pressing onto your rib cage. Out and in, out. Four more like this. So four and three. One more, hold it out right here, hold it. Little pulses just for four. Three, two, hold, both heels up. Try to extend your arms out to the side. Rotate your thumbs towards me. Now bring your knuckles together like you're holding a big round beach ball. You can stay right here or rotate right for two and center and left. One, two, hold it in the middle. Bring your arms up to a V. Try to straighten your legs. Hold here, then sink your hips. Bring your elbows in, lower your heels. Dumbbells together at the chest. We're not gonna do our usual press. You're gonna take your toes towards me and open up your shoulder, or what are these, your dumbbells, your hands, your knuckles should be facing me. The squat here, so squat. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Okay, so this is our base move. Maybe you press your dumbbells up on a diagonal in front of you. It's the same line we use when we're using our bar, and we do the squat to press. Up, sink, press. Squat, press. We have four more. Three, two, and hold it up. Bring the arms out to the side, shoulders down and back. Feet under your hips. Shoulders like pinch together, so back, release, back. So they're not really coming forward as much as they're just not going back. Looks like this. So we have four and three. One more, hold them back. Hold, bend both knees. Bend your elbows so the dumbbells are at your glutes. Hinge at your hip. From here, we send our arms out and back to the glutes. So out to the glutes. Looks like this. So you're not gonna come in to your chest. I know it's tempting to get a little more out of this mode. One more time, then up tempo from here. So out and out. Shoulder blades pinched together. Let's go three times and hold. So you have three. Two, hold your extension to the glutes in three. Two, extend to the glutes again in three. Two, extend. Once more. Three, two, hold your extension. Rotate your palms to the ceiling. Little pulses here. So you want to lengthen your arms, lengthen your spine, keep your knees bent, and pulse from the shoulder. Final four in one, two, three, come up. Both arms come up. Feet wide, toes to the corners, both arms come up together. Hold your dumbbells together at the top. So you'll bend your elbows and extend. Maybe you sink your hips for two and extend, single count. You'll bend, extend, bend again. Let's do four more just like that. So four, press. Three, one more, then we'll go halfway down from the top right here, halfway. Extend, halfway, extend, and then we'll go all the way down up for four. So four, press. Three, two, hold it up. Bring the arms down, shoulders down and back. Round your elbows, wiggle your toes. Both arms come up to the side. So one, two, release. Now sink your hips as you lift your elbows. Single count like that, so sink. Press down to come up, sink, press, four more to go. So four and three, two more this time, you'll hold it down, hold it, little pulses, maybe your heels lift, maybe your dumbbells come together, elbows are rounded, if you brought them in, bring them back out to the side. Final four right here, four, three, two, hold, lower your heels. Come up, shake it out. Round the elbows, lift your arms to the front and down now up to the side, fly. For two, up to the front for two. Round your elbows and up to the side for two. One, 
two, single count front, and then to the side. Easy enough. Just a little step here, just to get into your deltoids. We're gonna go twice more like that. Lift the elbows up and lower. Last time, still hold them up to the side. Just give them a little pulse here. Just for four, three, I know, two, and one, fold. Hang on to your dumbbells. Lift your tailbone up, unroll, and at the top, squats here. I think we've done this a couple times here in my living room, but I'll break it down. Two more, this time hold your squat. Hold it, now a narrow row, so your elbows go straight back. Your dumbbells come right to your hip joint. Single count there. So up, extend, lift, not lift, but squeeze your shoulder blades together. Four more just like that, it's a narrow row. Three, two, one more. Now round your elbows here. Lift up to the side, it's a back fly, so you stay hinged at the hip, back fly. Single count here, lift and lower. Two more, and then we'll come back up and find our squats. So we're gonna put it all together. It'll be one squat, one narrow row, one back fly, one more row, then come out of your squat. Two more, and we'll do it all together. Find your squat and hold, narrow row, back fly. One more narrow row, then come out of your squat. Let's do it again. So squat, narrow row, back fly, narrow row, and come back up. Yep, that's it. So squat, row, fly, up, row, couple more. So we'll squat, row, fly, row again. On the next pass, we're gonna hold our back fly up. So row, fly, hold it up and pulse. You're welcome to say hello to your back. All those muscles down your back is what keeps you upright for four, three, two, and fold. Your tailbone lift, hang on to your dumbbells. Roll up, three, two, circle your wrists out right here. Two, three, reverse your circles in four, three. Now just a little wrist curl. So it's a curl, curl just to the wrist joint like Action Barbie, who I don't think it's made anymore. Reverse it, make it an extension. Extend at the wrist for four, in one, two, three, set your dumbbells down, out of your way. You can towel off if you need. Grab a sip of your not wine. What? <laughs> Just feeling a little vested today. I don't know why that glass made me happy. All right, adjust your outfit. Feet parallel, palms together. We'll sink, squeeze your glutes at the top. So remember, you're squeezing right there where your booty meets your hamstring. You are not locking your knees. No need to lock. Just squeeze, touch your knees, knuckles up right here. So sink, press down to come up. Maybe you lift your heels at the top right here. Sink, press, sink, press. We'll do four more just like that. From here, you have four. Press, ah, four, that's three, two, one more. Hold your balance, hold here. Palms together, bring front, find your chair, lower your heels, wiggle your toes, come up, squats here. Oh, my sister's on here. Hi, Linda Praver. Are you, can you do my class? Do my class with me. All right, so remember that squat to reach because we're gonna insert it in this next interval. We're gonna walk through this, the leg work. Left leg steps out. Together, again, step out. Easy enough. Maybe it turns slightly out and becomes a hip sink. Hip sink. Two more. One more. Now left leg diagonally back. So one, two, come right back to it again. One. Two, single count here. Sink, press, sink. Two more, easy enough. Parallel squats here. You're saying, haven't I seen that before? You've seen another generation of that. Right leg, let's try it. Step out, 
step together, step. I didn't do slow, I went right into fast. Let's do four more like this, so four. Maybe your toes turn out and you sink your hips. One more, diagonally back, slow motion. One, two, again. One, two, single counts here. So my sister's at work. I won't name her place. I don't want her to get her in trouble that she's looking at Instagram. Four more like that. In four, push down. Three, two more. Now parallel squat. All right, so we have the leg work in our heads. We'll add a little bit of arms. Slow motion, left leg steps out. Arms out to the side, and up. slow motion diagonal. Reach up behind you, single counts here. Step out and up, diagonal, up. So the, the accent or the emphasis is on the arm that's going up right here. Right arm goes up, out. Parallel squat here, and so guy, do not reach for the floor. Let's try it on the right side. Slow motion, step out, arms up to the side, and up. Now left arm reaches up to the ceiling, and up, single count. So out, and up, reach up, not down. Out, and up, reach the back arm up. Out, and up, reach once more. Parallel squats. All right, so we have it. Here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna go twice on the left, then a couple of these guys that we did in the middle. Let's try it. Touch your knees, knuckles up, step out left, right here. Step out, diagonal, reach up. Let's do it again. Out and up, squat, touch your knees. Knuckles up, two more. Right side, step out, sink, diagonal, reach, again. Side, diagonal, squat to reach. Touch your knees, knuckles up. Two more. Left side, take it up. Diagonally back, reach up. Let's do it again. We'll go once more to the left. And then squat, touch your knees just twice. Right side, step out. Diagonally back, reach up, again. Out, up, one more time. Two squat, touch your knees. One more, one again, left side. Step out once, and diagonal. Again, keep your chest up on the diagonal. Once more. Now squat, touch your knees. One more. Right side, last set. Step out to the side, diagonal, reach up. Again, out, up. One more. Squat, touch your knees. You'll hold your last position here. Hold, try to lift your heels. Hold for four, three, two. Extend through your fingertips. Find your squat. Hold right here. Palms together, thumbs at your chest. Hold, lower your heels, wiggle your toes, press up little squats here. So make sure you're forward in your space. We're gonna work behind us. Remember, never locking your knees. Left leg steps first, just step back once. Step back to parallel, right leg. So this is your pattern, maybe, you sink your hips, sink down, up, sink down. So it's sort of the same step we've done to the sides just a moment ago. Arms out. So they're moving back, but what if we change them so that you rotate like a karate chop to the front? Karate chop, you can bring it in or leave it out, up to you. Four more. So four, three, two, Parallel squat right here. So that's the first part. Most of you have done this. We'll step out, fingertips to the, to the floor. What is this? Just the floor. Step out. You can work here or make that a hop right down and up. So four, three, two, 
Left leg steps back one time. Rotate here. Again, to the right. And left. Step or right down into a squat. Fingertips go down. Up. Three. Up. Two. Step back on your left. Rotate for four. Three. Two. Step or jump to squat. Four. Up. Three. Up. One more. Last step. Left side steps back. Four. Three. Two. Jump or step to squat right here. For four. Three. Two. Parallel squat. For four. Squeeze your booty. Three. Two more. Hold your squat. Hold it. Arms up. How your legs? Mine are dying. Maybe lift your heels. Reach your fingertips to where the wall meets the floor behind you. Hold here for four. Three. Bring your arms, palms together. Lower your heels, wiggle your toes. Press up, sink your booty to a squat. As you do this, take your feet wide, toes towards me. Sink, squeeze. All right, you can work just here, or you can reach and pull. Reach and pull. Maybe your heels lift at the top. Sink, push down to your feet, sink, Reach, sink, reach, two more. Feet parallel in the center, hands down, right where we started. Two more. This time, hold it up the top, squat. So sink, squeeze your squat. It can be as small as you need it, or as big as you need it to be here, and up. So either way, arms are up near your ears. One more. Forward fold, slow motion. Reach up behind you. Come up, two squats here. One more squat. Forward fold slowly. Reach up. Two squats. We're gonna make that slightly faster. Fold once, come up. Squat once. And fold, come up, and squat. Again, now, if you need a little extra, you can lift your heels in the fold, again, fold, and squat. If you're lifting your heels, maybe you press up and get a little air, and squat. Again, fold, up, squat. Two more, fold, up, one more to go. Hold your squat, hold, make a fist, extend, make a fist. Two more. Hold your hands in a fist. Hold it. Come up. Try to lift your heels up. Hold. Three, two, feet wide. Squat here. Extend your fingertips. Reach down. Pull up. It's our second set of these today. Sink. Push down. Two more. At the top, you'll hold. Pull down right here. So pull, extend. You can work right here, or you can curl your core so shoulders close to your hips. Again, one more. Hold it up, palms together, left foot. It's gonna rotate to the side and front. Side, front, right leg, same thing, to the side. So you rotate on your heel. One more. Center, pull straight down right here. So pull, extend, crunch, Two more. Left side, open your toes here. Maybe your arms go with you. One more. To the right side for four. Go four, three, two. Center, pull straight down right here. So four, and up, three, two more. Last one, left foot rotates out, out, again. Twice more here, long arms, extend them up, pull down the center, four, so four, up, three, two more, right side, rotate, bend the knees, and parallel towards me, two more, center, pull straight down in four, so pull and curl, two more, left side, 
Rotate for two. So one more. Center, pull straight down. We'll do it on the right. Here we go for two. Send your arms towards me. Pull down and curl. One more. One time to the left. Center, pull down. Once to the right. Center, pull down. Again to the left, last set. Set. Pull. One more. And hop or pedal. Hop or pedal. Woo. Sheets of sweat. Hop or pedal. Then step out right here. So pedal and step or hop. Jump. Hop. You're welcome to find your wide position squat. Two more. Again, I lie. So four. My fault. Three. Two. Wide squat right here. My brain flew off today because last night did a giant technical snafu. Hi, Mina. Oh, I miss you. Oh, hey, there's my child is here. What are you doing here, my child? You're supposed to be at the stables getting busy with the horses. That's not how it sounded. All right, in the center, you can hop or pedal. So either way, shoulders down and back, We'll cross country ski. So here, stay low if you're not a hopper. Let's do single, single hold. So one, two, hold. The leg that's back has the arm that's up in front. Maybe you sit. Take a lunge. One, two, lunge. One, two, lunge. Maybe you reach. Up, up, reach. Four, three, two, and squats right here in the center. All right. We're doing something we don't normally do in this section, but it should be fun. Left leg extends behind you, squat, and then your right. Up. Arms go up and out together. Up and out. Four. Up. Three. Two more. Hold it up. Flex and pulse your left foot up. Palms down. Fingertips face the floor. You can hold here or hinge forward. If you're forward and your fingertips find the floor. If you have yoga blocks in the house, you can use those two. Four more in one. Two Three, extend your toes, draw circles to your left. Your leg is your dumbbell. One more. Hold it center, bring your toes to the floor. Then both knees, back heel stays up as you straighten, and bend for two and straighten. Single count, bend, straighten. Maybe your left knee comes into your chest, so in, extend, in, extend, Try to find a stretch behind your right leg as this comes up. Again, bend, extend, bend, four to go. Breathing in and out. Remember your left leg can be low or even just on the floor. And hold your last position. If your leg is up, put it down. Step back to plank. Feel free to land on your knees here. If you're not on your knees, left knee comes in and out. Right knee, this is your pattern. Slightly faster here. In, in, in. Maybe double it up. In, in, in. Eight to go in any level. Breathing in and out. Three, two, hold your plank. Tailbone up. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Unroll. Ooh, hop or pedal. Full sheets of sweat. Four, three, Cross country ski. Breathe. If you don't want to hop, you need to do this. Let's do single, single hold. Maybe that hold is a lunge. Maybe you reach. Hop. One more. 
hop or pedal. Find your parallel squat. Ha! Ah. Let your heart rate pedal here. We're going to do the other side of that craziness. Then we'll finish all of this mess and go to the floor. Palms together. Two more. Right leg goes up. Behind you squat and left. Up, squat. Maybe your arms up to a B. For four, three, two, hold your arms up and pulse right here. So it's your right leg back behind you. Palms together, fingertips to the floor. Maybe you hinge, maybe not. If you have yoga blocks, books, maybe your dumbbells on their ends, or fingertips to the floor. For four, three, hold, extend your toes, draw circles to your right with your big toe again. Hold if your leg is up, put your toes down, back heel stays up, like this. Bend both knees, one, two, extend, again, one, two, single count here, then extend, then your knee comes in and out. It's your right knee, bend, extend. Remember, you're pushing against the floor to come up. Your fingertips are barely touching the floor. Let's do four more like that. So four and three, two, hold your last position. If your leg is up, put it down, step back and find a plank. Maybe your knees are on the floor. If they aren't, you can hold or right knee to plank. Left knee, out in, in. Out, maybe slightly faster. In, in, maybe you double it up. In, in, in. Eight to go, eight, seven. Maybe you're holding, maybe you're moving. Four, three, hold your plank, tailbone lifts up. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Unroll. Ooh, palms together, sink. Ha! Ah. I'm what? Oh, I know. I didn't really intend to make it this hard, but then, I don't know, something came over me. Maybe it's because my kid is peeking in. Oh, I'm spinning. See why we can't be in the studio? See what happens when I sweat, when I talk, it goes everywhere. All right, one more thing before we finish. Before we go to the floor, take your feet out wide, toes to the corners. This is going to be an abbreviated set compared to what we normally do with this particular move. I can't even talk. My heart rate's so high. For a second, I thought my heart rate was 247, but that was another number on here. 247. Can you imagine? Cross your forearms. Take your arms up to a V. Then up. Cross over. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing it, Cass. I feel like these online classes are the most intense. Maybe because I can't tell that y'all are out of breath and I think it's just me. Up tempo, up, out, cross, B. You can work right here or let your heels come up, out. If you're lifting your heels, maybe you press down and get a little air. Press, again. Four to go. Four, three, two, palms together. Sink your hips. Two more right here. Oh, let's wrap this up. Feet parallel, inhale, reach up. Hands on your knees, round your back. Then release your back. Round up, release. Round all the way up. All right, grab a towel. Actually, yes, maybe grab two towels because I'm gonna put one down to absorb the flow of ridiculous sweat coming out of me. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab my other towel for some assistance in our ab work. And then I'm gonna grab my water glass you know, my party water. 
You know, here, let's sit down. I'll tell you what I was going to say. Have a seat. I'm going to turn my towel. So I'm turning to the side. So if you're new to this, I turn to the side. So that way, if you turn to the side, when I cue front and back, you know that your front arm is the one closest to your screen. Other one's back there. Now I forgot what I was going to say. Ah, uh, okay. You're going to take your towel, sit up tall. Oh, I was going to say, the, the amount of times I talk about having wine, you would think that I had a big drinking problem. It's not the case. I can have like maybe a third of a glass of wine when I'm all done. I just can't handle it. I just like the idea of it. All right. Sounded like I was being defensive, didn't it? My addiction is sugar, just so you know. All right, so you're pulling your towel so that it's tight. You don't want any slack in there. So shoulder distance, sit up on top of your booty bone and curl halfway down, curl. For two, so by pulling your towel out to the side, it sort of forces you to engage your lap at the side of your body. The girls, we're not as familiar with our lats as the boys are. That muscle's much bigger on boys, men, not girls. It's just, they like to have those big lat wings to make their chest look wide. We don't really have that, but it does help your core. It's a big core of your, big, I can't talk, the big part of your core because it's all the way down the sides and back of your body. Now, as you curl, maybe you pull your arms up by your ears and back to the front. So curl, reach, again, same thing. So curl, reach, again, curl. Now, on your curl, you can rotate towards me, keep pulling the sides of your towel away from me, curl, pull your towel apart as you curl and rotate. So curl and rotate, and up, again. Now, on that curl and rotation, you have an option to bring the arms up as you pull, yes. Again, the other way. So remember, you can do any of these layers. You don't have to do the reach. You can do only the rotation. You can dump the rotation and do just the curl in front. So curl, exhale, inhale, up and curl. Exhale, one more each side and curl. Reach up one more time, curl. Reach, now straight down the center and hold your curl, but actively pulling your towel to the side, rotate towards me, center, away. Keep your curl, squeeze underneath your armpit, pull the towel apart. One more, and then up tempo from here, double pulse, other way, double pulse, other way, double pulse. Let's do four more just like that. Pull the towel apart, and two, rotate back. Two more, once more, and forward fold. Ooh, your knees can stay bent or straight men, depending on your flexibility on your hamstrings. Either way, actively releasing your low back, actively separating your shoulder blades, chin to your chest, inhale. On your exhale, try to flex both feet, pull your toes towards your forehead, bring your eyes up, then your shoulders, and then your body. At the top, grab your towel, tuck your hips, Curl down and make sure I'm still in the picture. Curl down. When you're all the way down, bring your knees into your chest. Just rock your knees side to side. You want to make sure you have your towel because we're going to use it again. This is not like all the old fitness DVDs where we used to stop every five to seven minutes and touch the talent up so it appeared that they weren't sweating. Ridiculous. Can you imagine that you're doing the workout thinking, why am I sweating and the teacher isn't? All right, come back to the center. Both knees into the chest. Take your towel, put it around the backs of your legs. So then you do the same thing where you grab your shoulders and the parts so you can pull it apart. Then bend your knees. Take your towel right down by your booty. You're going to untuck your hips so your belly button is level to your pelvis bone. Now pull your towel out to the side. Now open your shoulders. Calves parallel to the floor. Squeeze under your armpits. Roll your shoulders up just a little bit. Extend your back leg up and your front leg out here. Flex both feet. Hold here. Back leg lowers. One, two, and up. Again, lower one, 
two, squeeze underneath your armpits, keep it out of your neck. For two, hold right here. Both legs come up, that should be a little relief. Back leg goes down, only as far as you need it to. Pull your towel out, front leg goes down. For two, and up. Again, lower one, two, and up. Again, lower one, two, and hold it here. Both knees in, release, keep your towel where it is. All right, still pulling your towel up to the side. Untuck your hips, 90 degrees with the hip and the knee. You should already feel resistance here in your core. Extend your front leg out to the wall in front of you. We do this a lot, but never with the towel. Slowly change sides. Three, two, you're there on one. Your incoming leg stops in chair pose. 90 degrees at the hip and the knee. Two, three, four, once more in four. Three, now two counts to get there, you have one. Two, one, two. If you need a little more resistance, roll your shoulders up by pulling your towel out, squeezing underneath your armpits here in one, two. Now single counts here, you have three, two, hold and pulse. Again, three, two, hold and pulse. Twice more in three, two, hold and pulse. Last time, three, Two, hold right here. Both legs to chair, release your towel. Whew. Arms out to the side. Untuck your hips, 90 degrees at the hip and the knee. Your legs to your dumbbell. We actually did this the other day, just this week. Here we go, rotate towards me. For two, pull center, other way. Away from your screen, pull center. So palms are up towards the ceiling. You rotate your legs away from your screen. Pull back with your core, exhale. Rotate, resist the weight of your legs. Inhale to the center, exhale back. For two, and center. Again, exhale over for two. Pull center, exhale over one, two. Again, same thing, exhale over for two. Inhale, again, exhale over for two. Hold it, center. Fingertips behind your ears. Legs in chair. Extend your back leg to the wall in front of you. Squeeze under your back armpit and lift your shoulder off the floor towards me. If you're here, open this elbow. Slowly change sides in four. Three, two, you're there on one. In four, three, now two counts to get there. You have one, two, one, two, one, two. Singles right here, eight, seven, Six, final four, one, two, three, and release, knees to the chest. Ah, oh, set your feet on the floor, close to your booty, move your towel if you need to, hands to the side, tuck your hips, push your feet down to find your bridge pose. That's just a diagonal line from your shoulders through your hips into your knees, your toes can wiggle. Maybe you lace your fingers underneath your booty. Now scrunch your shoulder blades closer together. Your toes can wiggle. So either way, you can even pull your towel up to the sides if that feels better to you. For four, three, two, if your fingers are laced, unlace them, lower your spine one bone at a time. Ooh, alrighty. Bring your front knee into your chest. Relax your back leg anywhere you like. Extend your front leg up only far enough to feel the stretch behind it. You don't have to get it up over your head. I hear a dog. Bend your knee for two. Extend. Again, flex and bend. For two, drive it up. Again, flex and bend. This time, hold your leg up. Take your front arm anywhere on the inside of your front leg and open the leg towards your screen only far enough to feel the stretch on the inside. Pressing your back hip to the floor. Maybe you flex both feet. Pushing your heels out to the wall, breathing in and out, and then bend your knee back to the center, front arm reaches out towards me, arm back arm goes across your knee, and take your knee away from your screen. Cass, I was just trying to remember the name of your big black dog. Was it Milo? I don't think it's Milo. This black dog I'm babysitting is also named Milo. You'll have to text me what your dog's name was. Come back to the center, chain side, front foot on the floor, back knee comes into your chest, extend your leg up, 
until you feel the stretch behind it. Flex your foot, bend the knee to chest, press your heel up. Again, flex, bend, drive it up. Once more, flex, bend, hold your leg up. Oh, it's Nemo. That's right. Yes, this dog reminds me of Nemo so much. All right, take your back arm anywhere on the inside of your back leg. Open the leg to the side only as far as you need to to feel the stretch on the inside. You probably are not going to reach up to your heel. I'm oddly short, so I just can. Keep your front hip pressing into the floor. Flex both feet. I know, poor Nemo. That was such a great dog. You guys, he was the biggest dog. Get a dog door the size of Arizona. And then bend your back knee to the center. Back arm reaches out to the side. Front arm across. Take your knee towards me. I once asked Cass to give me a nervous to have a dog door that a person could totally walk through. And she said, no, I don't think so. I think when they see a dog door that size, they just move on to the next house. Come back to the center. All right, both feet on the floor. Extend your front leg up. Cross it over your back knee. That might be enough stretch for you. If it isn't, you can pick your foot up. Oh my gosh, that big dog made it to, am I reading that right? 16. Good lord. That's crazy. He was a big dog. If you need more than this for your stretch, reach through, lace your fingers, and pull towards your chest. So you're pulling your knees towards your chest. That's only if you need a deeper stretch. Breathe in and out for four, three, two, and then release. Change side. Back leg up. Step down on your front knee. Maybe pick it up. Maybe that's enough for your hip. Maybe you need a little more. Reach through and pull your legs towards your chest. Only if you need it. As long as you can breathe through it. Three, oh boy. All right, dog in the photo. And then release both feet on the floor. Flip over onto your stomach. Your arms and legs are all the way out. Bring your front arm, reach around, grab where your shoelaces would be. Pull your heel to your hip. To open your quads, press your hip down to the floor. Try to keep your knees straight out from your hip. And then release, chain side. Reach around, grab where your shoelaces would be. Pull your heel to your hip. Hip to the floor. If you can, keep that hand there. Bring your front arm around to join it. If you're not quite here, don't worry about it. Grab your heels or your pants, whatever's happening there. Or nothing, you could just reach back and you feel the stretch. If your hands are in your feet, press your feet into your hands and lift your knees up. Getting an extra stretch on your quads. Maybe you lift your chest for four, three, two, and release. Hands inside of your chest. Press your chest up. Take your hips back to your heels. Child pose. Pressing your chest through your shoulders. And then round up to a tabletop. Hands under your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Round your back. Push down into the floor with your hands and feet to lift your tailbone up. And walk your feet up towards your hands. You're hanging in a forward fold. Tailbone lift up. Unroll. One bone at a time. When you're all the way up. Oh my gosh, we made it through that. That felt really hard for me. But that's gonna be it for this class. If you want to do the after party with me today, that is gonna be extra core and a much deeper stretch. That's gonna start in five minutes after I sign up and share it. If not, I will see you Friday. And I'm gonna uh, hear welcome guy. Um, thank you for our donations. Tell your friends, I'm just gonna keep doing this because it looks like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if the gym closed back up. So there's that. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying. So um, I will post my schedule, but I'm going to do Sundays regularly at 9 o'clock now. Um, and sometimes Monday, but always Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. All right. I'll see you in five minutes or on Friday.